Hi, my name is Christy Blatchford and I'm the uh, Quartz columnist for the National Post and Post Media. I've been writing about what started off, at least in Canada, as the hashtag been raped, never reported movement and then sort of morphed into the more global and still present Me Too movement. And I thought it would be a timely subject to discuss uh, again because of the particular situation that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has been in in the, in the news for the last couple of weeks. This is the so-called kokanee grope where he allegedly inappropriately grabbed a young female reporter. He said, you know, we're all entitled to our truth, she's entitled to her truth, I'm entitled to mine, blah blah blah. What's interesting, uh, of course, is that that kind of tolerance and generosity is not the same standard uh, that he's applied in his own caucus to his former MPs, Massimo Pichetti and Scott Andrews, uh, former cabinet uh, Kent Herr, uh, and they are merely part of a very long and growing list of Canadian, prominent Canadian men, most of them, who have been accused of sexual misconduct of one sort or another in the mainstream press or in, on social media. Uh, they include among them uh, John Furlong, the former Vancouver Olympics head, Michael Kidd, uh, a former community college instructor, Patrick Brown, the former leader of the Ontario Tories, Rick Dykstra, the former president of the Ontario Tories, Jeremy Dodds, a poet and former Coach House Publishing employee, Gilbert Ronzon, the, the founder and former boss at uh, Just for Laughs, the, film, the comedy festival, Albert Schultz, the founder and former boss at Soul Pepper Theater, and uh, recently, and for the last couple of years in the news, Stephen Galloway, the former director of the creative writing program at the University of British Columbia. That isn't even a complete list. And it leads me to think that the lucky men now are the ones who, like Gameshi, Gian Gameshi, the former CBC star, are at least accused in a formal way. And my point is not that women shouldn't come forward. Women should, of course, come forward. My, my suggestion, though, is that they should come forward with serious allegations, first of all, contemporaneously, because it's easier to, to prove something that didn't happen 15 or 20 years ago. And secondly, that they should come forward to the police. As good as newspapers, investigative units are, Newspapers aren't actually investigative agencies, and newspaper reporters are not trained sexual assault investigators. And what's more, and the more important thing, and it should be important for everybody, is that the only place where you will actually get a, f a fair chance to defend yourself and get what's called due process, it means the benefit of centuries of of law is in the courts you know all you have to do is is make an allegation of sexual assault against a professor and effectively his his career and his life are are over um, at best you'll get what are called private investigations where the institution such as the university or the political party will bring in an outside lawyer who will conduct a secret process most of these remain secret, and at the end, all you know is the result, which is invariably, uh, except in the case of Steve Pakin and really uh, uh, Stephen Galloway, the results are never known. The only the 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 consequence is known. So and so is fired, or so and so is ruined, but there's no public, open, transparent process. That's the greatest benefit of the criminal courts is that you are presumed to be innocent. And it's the only place in the modern world where that is so. Everywhere else you're presumed guilty. And just one final thing too. Um, I've been around the block a long time, a few times, and the I believe women trope is so contrary to my own lived experience, as we say now, I know that women and men are completely equal. Men lie and so do women. And sometimes they lie for reasons we will never understand. No gender has a patent on the truth. And I find it condescending and patronizing 
that people should be told they must believe me merely because I have a set of breasts, great as they are.